It is October the 20th, and a wonderful, beautiful day. The sun is up in the sky. Retrograde's over. Things are starting to come back to normality. We are in the good old fiery full moon. And this is your tarot of the day. Oop, there we go. Haha. <laughs> it snapped on me. I have to do it again. All right, let's see what the reading for today is, shall we? Earth, air, fire, and water. Ha! Let's see what we got here today. So in our Earth house, we have the Emperor. So Earth is all about the things that give us sustenance, such as our, our job, our food, our, our uh, physical plane, the Earth. And what we are seeing is the Emperor. And he is the guardian of all swords. He's everything discipline, thought, conflict, communication. He's the dad card. So the way that this kind of relates to the earth is that we are kind of in an area right now where we need to reclaim our discipline over our own living sphere and space. There's a lot of complacency and laziness that are starting to sit in. When we start to find ourselves in a position where we um, are allowed to do shadow work, once the shadow work is done, it's really easy to sit in our stagnancy and wallow. This is where the card is telling us to get up, get out of bed, get your crap together, clean your room, and, and just go out there and conquer the world. So today is a day for you to start going out there and kicking ass and taking names in the physical plane. Also echoes the full moon we have, which is a hunter full moon, which kind of relates to a lot of fire energy, but it also re uh, relates to a lot of the emperor's energy as well. In our air, we have temperance. <clears throat> Again, we are exiting this period of purgation, I guess, of reflecting on what we have, have done this year, um, the retrograde, screwing up our communications, making us focus inward and internally. So it's time for us to start getting that balance again with our thoughts. No longer thinking about what, um, no longer thinking inwardly, but thinking outwardly, inwardly, and parallel, and also vertically. And I know that sounds confusing, but let me explain it. So it's time for us to start thinking about our own shadows. Yes, absolutely, our own selves, but what our environment has for us, what we have for each other, and also what we look at at a spiritual nature, our relation to the metaphysical elements, as well as our relation to deities, etc., etc. So um, to sum it all up, right now is a time for us to get balance of mind, discipline of mind, getting ourselves in a position where we can start thinking more clearly of everything around us, and not just ourselves. And that's very much in line with the emperor, which is also in a line with... Our good old passions with the Knight of Swords. So Swords, actually, ironically, is the court card for the Emperor. So the Emperor has the King of Swords, who he gives orders to, and the King has the Knight to give orders to. So when he gives his intent to the King, the King gives his intent to the Knight, and the Knight makes it happen. So essentially what we're saying in our passions is this uh, requirement and need for us to apply a little bit of discipline, hard work, um, and a lot of thought towards where we are putting our passions. It's really easy for us to fly off the deep end. If you take a look at things such as temperance, one of the alternative cards for the temperance card is the devil card in the tarot deck, where we fall into unhealthy uh, habits and behaviors because we allow our passions to take us to new depths. So this is kind of like us actively fighting against that need um, or that, that, not that need, fighting against that situation where our passions lead us into something that is unwholesome as the devil card. So it, actively fight against those things that you know will lead to excess. Actively fight against those things that you know are going to lead to uh, addiction and poor decisions and unbalance. Because right now we are very fragile. Our whole entire psyche and our whole entire spirit is in a very fragile state. We are coming out of some very major astrolo astrological, not just uh, Mercury, but Jupiter, Venus. A lot of different astrological things have been um, screwing with our spirit and screwing with our mind. And so don't allow yourself to fall to vice to compensate for the new holes that we are feeling. Because there's going to be a hollow feeling in this day and probably in a couple days to come. Uh, especially with the shadow of Mercury being kind of done as it goes direct. So start thinking a little bit more clearly um, about the disciplines that you require to put into place to prevent yourself to fall into vice. And that leads us to 
our good old water card, which is another card that we need to be very, very con cognizant of. We have this pain, the Eight of Swords. The woman standing around the swords who's blindfolded and she's bound with no knots on either of them. She wanders around, bumps into the swords, thinking that she's trapped, where all she needs to do is shake twice, watch the binds fall off, pull off the blindfold, and she'll see that it's all an illusion. Sometimes our emotions can get the best of us. When we get in an emotional state, we kind of get ourselves into a little bit of a fervor. We get ourselves into a little bit of a, of a lather, I guess you could say, and we really don't know how to deal with it. Uh, emotionally take time to uh, balance your emotion through uh, cognition and through spirit because spirit actually governs our, mo our emotion. That's why we cry uncontrollably for music and we have no emotional connection to it, such as classical music. So take your time today uh, if you're feeling a little bit trapped in a spiritual sense and get that balance out there. Get that meditation, pull off those blindfolds and, and address your emotions in a way that you can see. Today is all about that discipline. Head card, two of wands, heart card, ace of swords. So the two of wands presents itself right after the ace of wands when the new passion shows up and presents itself. This is the strategize and planning stage with your passion, making sure it's set in the right direction. Don't let it take you down the road to vice, but see what it is good for, apply it, utilize it for your betterment and for the betterment of people around you. That new passion that you have, Analyze it, look at it, and figure out what you can do with it. Now, as that starts developing today, you're going to have a new thought that's going to present itself in regards to this. Now, very important to note, swords, 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 swords. Temperance is balance, major arcana, kind of exempt wands. So, <clears throat> very sword-heavy reading. Lots of thought, lots of cognition. Your passions may lead you to a new thought or a new discipline. It's time for you to start taking that a little bit seriously. Start applying that discipline and start applying that thought and that knowledge and make it work. And that is your tarot reading for today. Like, share, subscribe. If you would like a reading yourself online, there is a link in my description where you can just schedule a reading and I'll happily throw some cards for you personally. Have a great day.